Good morning everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here. And it is currently 89 degrees here in Las Vegas. Looking for a high of about 104 today. As I'm getting ready to do a little walk here on the strip. Just kind of take a look around here for a few minutes. Hope everybody's having a great day today. See some cloud cover in the sky, but usually that kind of burns off by mid to late morning. We're here on this hump day Wednesday. That's another week is just flying by on us here. See the speaks there standing guard over the property there. You know, when I was scouring the internet, I came across a story or a news article actually where uh, the Disney company is, I guess they're getting ready to jack the prices up for the that Disney Plus streaming service because their uh, subscriber count dropped. So the subscriber count dropped. So what do you do? You raise the prices to compensate. Now, I know that's the corporate mentality of, you know, it's like uh, we have a certain nut we have to bake here. So instead of let's work to get the subscriber count back up, you know, let's find out what's going on. They just raise the prices to compensate. So now you're probably asking, what does that have to do with Las Vegas? That would be a good question. But for years and years, I've seen that happen here in Las Vegas. I've seen it happen in uh, the corporate world. I've seen it happen in uh, the private sector. I've seen it happen to small businesses where instead of working, you know, to get your business back to where maybe it was at one time or, you know, or working to get it to, up to where you want it. You just raise the prices to compensate for whatever has happened. I remember back in the day, you know, in the olden days of, I don't know, 30 or 40 years ago, I saw that happen a lot here in Las Vegas. You know, when properties like, say, the Mirage was opening up, and, uh, You know, and it's, it's, it was new and shiny and glitzy or whatever. 
I saw all the older properties, you know, lose market shares. You know, properties like the Dunes, the Sands, the Desert Inn, the Landmark, the Hacienda. And I'm sure there's more, but that's just kind of the name of few. But they all, you know, started losing a little bit of business. You know, they would lose just a little bit. It's like, you know, they for off their off their revenue and then off the bottom line. So what did every one of them do? What did every one of them have in common? Every one of them go through it, just raise the prices. You know, they'd raise the prices in the uh, the restaurants. They raised the drink prices a little bit. They raised the room rates a little bit. Yeah, and they uh, they all basically had that mentality. Instead of working, to find out or say, what do we have to do to get our share of the market back? You know, what can we what can we work on to get our piece of the business back here you know or maybe find out well why did uh, Johnny and Susie and everybody else in between why did they why don't they come here anymore you know, database shows it's like you know they came here once or twice a year every year for 20 years and they said they don't come here anymore So, every one of them but would just go through and just start raising the prices a little bit. And then what ends up happening is what you see today. You know, what happened to the dunes and the sands and the Hacienda and the landmark. You know, El Rancho. Any of those properties. What happened to them? Oh, they all they all closed down, they all went away. Instead of just working towards now those properties, maybe you know it's like they were older property. Maybe they sell anyway. But you know what? Why not sell on the high note instead of the low note? Because you had to sell or you had to close down. So instead of working to get your business back, or instead of working. You know, to increase your market share, just raise the prices. The lazy man, the corporate way of doing things. Now, it's hard to feel sorry for a company like Disney. I get that. But, uh, you know what? That seems to be the corporate way. And whatever the corporate way is, is the American way. And eventually, the corporations will start disappearing too. You know, they'll be absorbed by other corporations. And who knows, maybe one day America will be absorbed by another corporation or another company, another country. Because that seems to be the way that we do business, huh? All right, everybody. Well, that's just my uh, little spin on everything. But those are the types of things that shaped Las Vegas. 
instead of working, you take the easy way out. All right, everybody, I'm Blow with Rick. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for listening to me ramble today. I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, a couple things, please hit that thumbs up. Helps our videos out a lot. Helps keep it visible in the YouTube universe. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Let YouTube know that you and I both matter in their whole universe. Hey, everybody, take care, okay? Stay healthy. I'll see you on the next video. Hey, bye-bye, everybody.